good morning i am going to discuss a program using for loop uh, to display all even numbers from 20 to 30 there are many possible logics we will discuss it with two different logics i have already included header files stdio.h and conio.h let's start with int main go inside the body of the main function and declare a variable i now start with for loop within for loop you can write i is equal to 20 why i have uh, assigned it 20 because we have to start it from 20 so its value is 20 now we can write the condition that is i is less than equal to 30 30 because we have to dis display value up to 30 that's why less than equal to 30 now uh, what you can do in place of writing i plus plus you can write i plus equal to 2 this plus equal to 2 is sorthand operator what is the role of sorthand operator it is equivalent to i is equal to i plus 2 it means that it will add 2 to the current value of i say value of i is 20 it will add 2 to it and again store the result in i that is the i value of i will be 2 so using this method we can increase the value of i by 2 so now come inside the body of for loop what we have to display we have we have to display the value of i so first use slash t to give space between each uh, values and then write percentage t because percentage t represents integer and i is an integer now write the name of the variable that is i that you want to display now terminate printf using semicolon and then write get ch you must be aware of use of get ch so many terminated here so what is happening here it will start with 20 now condition will be tested condition is true that is i is 20 so it will display 20 here okay and once it is displayed it will return back to the increment section now it will increase the value of y by 2 so what is the next value that is 22 again it will go to the uh, condition section it will test the condition whether it is true or not it's true as i value of i is 22 it is less than 30 so it will display the value of i that is 22 again it will go to the increment section here it will again increase the value of i by 2 now it is 24 condition is tested condition is true so again it will display 24 now again value is increased now it's 26 condition is tested condition is true again body of the loop is executed so 26 will be displayed once it is displayed it will return back to the increment section and it will just increase its value by 2 now it's 28 so 28 is less than 30 conditions true again body of the loop is executed so it will display value of i that is 28 but wait again it will go to the increment section that is i plus equal to 2 now its value is 30 again condition is tested, tested i is equal to 30 so again it is true so it will execute the body of the loop value 30 will be displayed again it will increment the value of i by 2 so now it's 32 so i is neither less than nor equal to 30 so now loop is terminated and it will take you outside the loop so now get ch is executed this is how this loop works so as you can see uh, what you are getting you are getting 20 22 24 26 28 20 uh, and 30 
all are even numbers. Let's check the output of the program, compile and run the program. Here you can see you are getting 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 and 30 all are even numbers. So this is how you can display even numbers. Now let's come on to other logic. Instead of increasing the value by 2, you can simply increase the value by 1. So you can write i++. plus plus. It will increase the value of i. That means in this case i is equal to i plus 1. That is, it will increase the current value of i by 1 and store it in i again. So if value is 20, so 20 plus 1 is 21. The next value of i is 21. Now what you can do? You have to check whether the given number is even or not. not. To check this condition, we have to use if statement. So you can write if i mod 2 is double equal to 0. This is the condition you can write to check whether uh, i mod 2 means mod operator is an arithmetic operator is used to return the remainder after dividing i by 2. Say value of i is 20, it will divide it by 2. So what will be the remainder of this uh, operation that is 20 mod 2, it will return 0. So if when the value is 0, it means it is an even number. So we now we will use double equal to. Double equal to is known as comparison operator. Now it will compare this result that is 0 with this 0. If it is 0, it means it is an even number. So it will simply display the value. So this statement will work only if this condition is true. In case it is false, nothing will be displayed. So let's uh, dry run the program when the value of i it will start with i is equal to 20 and uh, it will test the condition yes it is less than 30 so what will happen it will test the condition i mod 20 so, sorry 20 mod 2 so this will be replaced with 20 mod 2 so its result will be 0 why 0? Because it returns the, returns the remainder. So 20 is divided by 2 and it will return 0. Now it will be compared with this result will be compared with 0. This condition. So this condition is true 0 is equal to 0. So condition is true this will execute this statement that is printf percentage d i. So it will display 20 on the screen. Now it will go to the increment section that is i++. plus plus. It will increase the value of i by 1. Now it's 21. 21 is condition is tested. Condition is true. So again what will happen it will check i mod 2. i is right now 21. 21 mod 2 is equal to 1 it turns 1 once it will be divided by 20 what will be the remainder remainder will be 1 now the statement is compared with 0 1 is compared with 0 condition is true no it's false since it is false this will not work so you will directly be taken to i plus plus okay so now its value is 22 it will increase the value of i it will be 22. Now condition is tested again. Uh, condition is true, still true. Now it will check the condition 22 mod 2. So you can write it here. Uh, 22 mod 2. What will be the value it will return? Remainder will be 0. Now again 0 is equal to 0. So it will display condition is true so it will display this value that is 22 will be displayed now just check out the output this is how it will run up to 30 let's check the output uh, compile the program now you can see in this program also you are getting the same result all even numbers are displayed 
so but just making a simple changes in this you can modify the program to display all or numbers just replace it with not equal to. what will happen it will check say value of i is 20 and uh, condition is true you are inside the loop 20 mod 2 20 mod 2 it will return you 0 now it will be compared with not equal to it's not equal to not equal to is 0 not equal to 0 so condition is false because 0 is equal to 0 both are same so condition is false so it will not execute this statement this execute execution is uh, stopped because the condition is false now what will happen uh, now you will go to the increment section it will increase the value of i by 1 so 21 now condition is status condition is true you will again be here you are here okay i is 21 now so you can check it 20 mod 1 mod 2 it will return you 1 now 1 is not equal to 0 condition is true yes 1 is not equal to 0 so the condition is true you are here it will display the masses that is percentage d i value of i will be displayed so this is how it will display odd numbers 21 is odd number just uh, execute the program compile and execute the program and check the output here you can see all odd numbers from 20 to 30 is displayed that is 21 23 is again odd number 25 is again odd number 27 is again odd number 29 is again odd number so that's all for now thank you